What up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Up and In Show. I'm Anthony Renato, sitting on the purple couch in Cards and Culture. If you're listening to this, that's just for context. But if you guys are here on YouTube, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Um, but today, I'm just sitting here by myself, and I just really wanted to catch everybody up. I like to do this about once a month, once every two or three months, something like that. Uh, usually, I have guests on my show, and I'm usually interviewing them, talking about something specific, um, whether that's sports, performance, business, um, inspiring stories, whatever, right? Uh, but uh, every now and then, I like to just kind of catch everybody up of what I'm doing. I like to use this platform, this um, this audio platform or video, whatever it is, to kind of let everybody know what's going on in my personal life, um, how that inter- interacts with business and the different things we got going on um, here in Baton Rouge. So I just wanted to uh, kind of jump off with uh, F45. A lot of you guys know that fitness, wellness um, are, are big into in my life. Movement is huge. I work out every single day. So F45 Training is a gym franchise that I invested into if you guys are new to the show. Um, and it's a 45-minute functional workout uh, and uh, so we have one here in Baton Rouge and in City Square over uh, uh, off Highland and Blue Bonnet, and we're getting ready to open up our second location over in Bocage off of uh, Jefferson and Corporate. So that location is going to be super dope, um, and we're actually opening up uh, Saturday, March 5th, so that's coming up. Anybody who hasn't signed up and is living on that side of town and wants to get involved, uh, we have some great specials going on right now that are lifetime you know, memberships going on where – uh, wh- whatever you buy right now until we open the doors will be your lifetime price. So there are some incredible discounts. Normally it's going to be one night, probably anywhere from 189 to 209 a month, depending on um, what we finalize it at. Uh, but right now you can get them pretty, pretty fair, um, anywhere from the 139 to 159 range. So make sure you guys reach out and, and uh, ask some questions about that. Uh, it's a great community. We've done a great job here in Baton Rouge and, and I really love what we're building. Bo Didier is my business partner and one of my best friends in the world. And, um, he's doing a great job expanding that and, and going over to the other side of town. So if you love fitness, wellness, community stuff, um, that's, this is the, a great opportunity for you to get involved and we'd love to have you. It's, it's something really cool that, that we're doing. Um, you know, movement is really important to, to everything that I've done, you know, in my past as a baseball player, but, as I, as I keep going in business and in life and different things, um, it provides a really good balance to me to, to help with the mental side of things. Um, just, you know, physical movement does a lot for your body, just wellness and, and, and for your mind, you know, um, the BDNF that, that, that your brain creates through movement, um, you know, helps with just a myriad of things. And, and from, you know, in today's world where mental health is so important, um, there's so many different things thrown us so, so much attention, um, so many keeping up with, you know, type things. Uh, the 45 minutes allows me to kind of go in there, separate it, um, focus on my movements, focus on, you know, the things that I want to accomplish in the gym, um, separate from everything else going on in the world for 45 minutes, um, just be by myself and focus on these movements. So uh, I really enjoy it. And, and something that I'm passionate about, if you guys followed me, um, I, I invested into the positive vibe movement, which, you know, aim to and the stigma around mental health. So something that I really like to talk about is mental health and and how that affects your everyday living. And if your brain isn't right, you know, you're not going to be able to function properly, whether that's movement, whether that's work, whether that's school, whether that's um, athletic performance. And, uh, and something that really has, has struck me is, um, the younger generation and, and what social media and attention has done for a younger generation. So I think the phrase mental health needs to, to, you know, be understood a little bit more and used a little bit more proactively. And I think that everybody can kind of take those steps to understand their own mental health situations, what they're prone to, um, maybe, you know, things that have gone on in their family or their environment, things like that. But um, I, I really want to send this message to any kids that might listen to this, younger um, athletes especially. I think um, I was fortunate that I didn't have social media growing up, and, and you guys are all in a different generation where cameras and, and access are, are readily available. But I want to let you know that most people put their highlight reels on social media. So they're giving their best versions of their lives and, and what makes them feel good, right? Right. So I really want to make sure that everybody knows that social media isn't a comparison tool and what you do in your everyday life is really more important than what you put out to social media. So um, to all the kids that are playing sports nowadays that are in school and put this pressure on themselves to get into colleges or, or get a Division I scholarship or go pro, right? 
um, I just want to let you know that, that being a kid and, and enjoying the present time is, is really, really important. And don't put that pressure on yourself to be somebody or compare yourself to things that are on social media. Just focus on your journey. Just focus on what makes you happy, what makes you successful. Um, and let's not get worked up over, over so many little things, right? So I've had some parents reach out and say that, that young kids um, have listened to the podcast and enjoyed it and enjoyed the, the mental health side of things and just the, the balance of life. And I want to let everybody know that, you know, I do the same thing. I put out my highlight reels on, in life. I put out things about my business, um, all the great things that F45 is doing, that Cards and Culture are doing, and, and all the fun things that I'm doing in life. Uh, but what people don't see are the struggles every single day that um, I have to meditate through, right? Because I'm paying salaries for a lot of employees or we're opening up new businesses. I'm putting my money on the line. And so what people don't see are the stresses that happen every day in entrepreneurship and in, in, in business, in life, in sports. Um, and we're all conditioned to put our best foot forward and have this mental strength to, to smile and, and carry through. Um, but I just want to let everybody know that we all go through stuff. And, and this is one of the most difficult times in my life personally. And I feel like I've said that a lot, but at the same time, I always get through it. Right. So I appreciate the times when, when they're hard, whether that's financial, whether it's stress, whether, whether it's personal, um, I'm actually moving apartments. I'm living in an Airbnb right now for two weeks, then have to move into another apartment. I thought I was going to buy a house and, and all these different things. And if you guys listen to my podcast, you're, you know, I, I shared this maybe six months ago, a year ago that I was getting ready to move out of my last house and going all in on the business. Right. So there's a lot of things that, that play into uh, mental health and stress and, and that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to be real with everybody and level with everybody that, um, you know, I do have a lot of great things going on. I'm very proud and very happy of the team that we've built, the businesses that, that we're running, but I want to let everybody know that there's, there's real stress, there's real financial burdens, there's, um, decisions to be made every single day about so many different things that can affect so many different things. So I just want to let everybody know that, that we all go through it and, uh, we're all in this journey together. Um, and now I'm going to pick it up because I, I don't want that to, to be too heavy for everybody. Um, but I do want to talk about some really great things that we got going on with cards and culture, um, in the collectible space and the NFT space and the NIL space, all these different things that you guys see me putting out there, um, in social media, on social media. Um, but the first thing I want to talk about is, is this cool collectibles event that we got coming, um, coming up in May. We've partnered with LSU and we are going to be in the PMAC and we are going to do a collectibles show. So just like the, the national has its uh, trading card show and you go to the Dallas card show and um, all these different shows where you can buy, sell and trade collectibles, um, cards and culture is going to be putting on one at the PMAC, but it's going to be sports cards, memorabilia, but we're also going to include sneakers and artists. Um, so there's going to be some canvas art. There's going to be NFT art. There's going to be all kinds of collectibles. You can sell and flip sneakers. You can bring your sports cards, your memorabilia stuff. We're going to have some autograph signings. Um, and, uh, and this is where I think the NIL stuff. So if you guys aren't familiar with that acronym, the NIL stands for net, um, name, image, and likeness. And it was a new thing that was passed by the NCAA or, or legislation. I'm not really sure who passed it, but it, it allows college athletes to get paid, um, to perform, you know, or not to perform on the field, but to, um, to perform something for a local business or somebody else. Uh, in the past, athletes weren't, ex uh, weren't allowed to accept any type of benefit, right? So we couldn't go out to eat and accept a meal. Um, we couldn't sign an autograph and accept some money. Uh, we couldn't accept anything when, when I was in school, but now that's all changing. So I've partnered with a, a few athletes here at LSU and we do some really cool stuff, whether that's multimedia, photo shoots, creating content for them, um, or I'm looking over here in the shop and we have a bunch of different t-shirts that we created with these athletes. Um, so we find some really cool, unique stories with them and we dive in and we tell a little bit about their past, what got them to LSU, what made them successful in sports, any kind of adversity that they face and get to know them a little bit off the field or courts as well. So um, their fans can resonate and connect with them a little bit more. And then if they want to go support them, they can go buy their t-shirt. And I've set it up really favorable for the athletes here at Cards and Culture where um, they understand that the more that they connect with their fans and the more that, that their fans buy their stuff, they're going to get um, a bigger payout, right? Because the, the way that I wanted to do things with my business here was to show athletes and, and uh, ways where they can make sustainable, have sustainable income, um, create that personal brand and those kinds of things that people like to talk about. Um, but just really show people that, that the, the time spent on campus can be some of the most important time of your life. And uh, it's something I'm really passionate about. And I think that it's a, a great opportunity that we have with the NIL 
to take advantage of this, to, to educate student athletes, to educate other students, to educate and work with and network other, with other small businesses, local businesses, um, and individuals that just want to, um, create an environment that, that is uh, sustainable for college athletes. Um, and obviously for, for our LSU fans, we want to create and promote an atmosphere where athletes want to come to college. They want to work with local businesses. They know they can make some money on and off, I guess not on the court, um, but off the court. Right. And, uh, and so cards and culture is providing a safe space for that. I hope it's a spot that athletes can, can enjoy coming to, um, where it's a, it's a little different than just signing autographs or, or just showing up at a restaurant or doing something like that. Um, so I try to make it more of a personal experience with the athletes and their fans where the fans come in and they can have a different experience. Um, and that's something we're really passionate here about, you know, with cards and culture and, and I'm excited to develop, um, I want to talk a little bit more about um, the art expansion that we're going to do here too um, with Cards and Culture. I think if you guys follow me, something that you've seen since the calendar has turned in 2022 is uh, we're focusing on um, local artists and we're, and we're trying to find and, and work with and partner and, and, and provide opportunity to uh, young artists, whether that's entertainment um, comedy, canvas art, painting, design, all these different things, videography, cinematography. Uh, there's so many different avenues that where creatives can, uh, can express themselves. And I want cards and culture to be a really cool spot for that. So we're diving into that. We've done some large, large <laughs> live art events, um, had some two, uh, had two local artists come in and, and paint some live paintings. We've done some autograph signings and, and, and combine the two and, and a watch party. So I think the stuff that we're going to be doing in the space this year, combining art, combining events, we have a, we have a really cool uh, NAACP event here tonight. Um, it's Black History Month, so I think it's really cool to incorporate um, local artists of color and, and kind of tell their story and provide an opportunity for them to um, put their art out there, connect with a community. Um, and, and just do things that hasn't been done in Baton Rouge before, and especially in this Perkins Row area. So I'm excited to keep those things developing. And um, I really can't, you know, say thank you enough to, to anybody who's listening, anybody who supports the podcast, anybody who comes into Cards and Culture, anybody who comes to F45, uh, anybody who shares any of the content or engages with it. I just want to say thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, I've really enjoyed the journey here with Cards and Culture, F45, Baton Rouge, NIL, LSU, all these different things, um, and all the people that come in and support the businesses. So really appreciate you guys. And again, if you guys are listening to this video, this long-winded or video podcast, whatever, um, I really appreciate it, guys. And um, I'll see you guys out there. All love. <laughs>